In this problem, uh, it's a trig problem, section 1.4, question 37, we are figuring out how high a mountain is, the height of the mountain. So that's represented by y. Now, someone has measured from an angle of 30 degrees to the top of the mountain. We don't know that distance because you can't measure through the base of the mountain. And then they've moved out 3.3 meters and measured another angle at 25 degrees to the top of the mountain. So this allows us to use some trig functions to calculate the unknown y. So we can uh, use the fact that the tangent of theta, that would be the 30 degree angle, is going to be opposite y over adjacent x. We can also calculate that the tangent of 25 degrees is going to be the opposite y over the adjacent a plus x, but we know what a is, so we'll go ahead and put in the 3.3 for a. So now you have two equations with two unknowns. So if you solve one equation for one of the unknowns and substitute it into the other equation, then you can find the values of both. All we really need to know is the y. So we're going to begin with the one that looks the most complicated, the tangent 25 equal y divided by x plus 3 plus 3.3 plus x. All right, tangent of 25 degrees is 0.4663, and that's equal to y divided by 3.3 plus x. All right, multiply both sides by the 3.3 plus x. to get that that equals y. And now use your distributive property. So 0.4663 times 3.3 .3 is 1.58533 plus 0.466x equals y. I am solving for x. I'm solving for x, so x is going to equal y. You would subtract the 1.5338 from both sides and then divide by the coefficient of x, 0.4663. So now I have an expression for x in terms of y. So we will take that to the other equation, the tangent 30 equal y over x, and substitute it. So we had that tangent of 30 was y over x. Tangent of 30 is 0 0.5774 y over x. All right, we're going to multiply both sides by x, so 0 0.5774 x equals y. And now do the substitution, so 0 0.5774 and then x was y minus 1.5388 divided by 0.463663 equals y. If I divide the 5, 0.5774 by the 0.4663, I'll get 1.2383, and then I'll still have my y minus 1.5388, and that's equal to y. All right, distributing again, you get 1.2383y minus, I'm going to multiply 1.2383 by 1.5388, I get a negative 1, I get my 1 point, nine zero seven zero and that's y so now i would subtract y from both sides and add one point nine zero seven zero to both sides all right one point two three eight three y minus one y would just be point two three eight three y 
which is equal to the 1.9070. Now divide both sides. Let me copy it again up here. 1.2383y equals 1.9070. Divide both sides by the point 2383. And we'll get that y equals 8.0. So that is the height of my mountain because that was the value y that we were looking for. So this is 8.0 to the nearest decimal place. Now, if I wanted to calculate x, I could, but I was only asked to find the height of the mountain.